I told you recently about the plethora of royal books by alleged esteemed royal experts, you know, the ones that are going to share all these bombshells that allegedly are going to leave us on the edge of our seats. Truth be told, let's be honest, we prefer the most salacious ones. It's the same with the biographies, isn't it, you know? When you look at former royal Prince Harry's book, nobody's really interested in the military career stuff and all that sort of thing. What they really wanted to know was allegedly how Catherine grimaced according to Harry when Meghan asked to borrow some of her lip gloss. I wanted to know was it Maybelline number no. 7 or a more expensive brand but this is where Harry was really short on detail. I'm jesting you know but these are the things that really get picked up and sell things around the world. Now recently over here we've had yet another royal book all about His Majesty the King literally by Robert Hardman a respected journalist and of course Daily Mail writer and Dr documentary maker. But of course, when you're doing a biography of somebody living, particularly in the royal family, you have to tread very carefully. So when you look at some of the things that he's recently come out with to try and sell the book, you kind of think, really? Honestly? Now, the big bombshell allegedly was the fact that apparently our late and wonderful monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, was more upset than anybody would seen her upon the revelation of Harry and Meghan naming their daughter Lilibet. But what was interesting was, and a lot of people haven't pinpicked this, but as ever, I know this and I wanted to share this with you. One of his bombshells was the fact that in the very final red box that Her Majesty the Queen had been busy working on right up until the final few hours of her life, you know, the stoicness that she had meeting her very final British Prime Minister, Liz Trust, even though she was very ill at that point. Well, apparently there was a letter, according to Mr. Hardman, and it was a letter addressed to His Majesty the King, the then Prince of Wales at the time. Basically, he said it was a secret letter and no one knew what was in it. Well, I can tell you. You see, the bottom line is, this is what happens if you understand how monarchy works. You see, each monarch that is, you know, shall we say, near the end of their reign, normally puts a letter which is sort of bypassing their official will over certain personal details that they'd like adhered to. And this letter is addressed to the next monarch. So the idea really that this is a secret is ludicrous in many respects because what it would have been would have actually been the wishes of Her Majesty regarding say loyal staff and forthgoing accommodation. We saw really that of course His Majesty the King didn't necessarily keep to that particular request because Angela Kelly relocated up to South Yorkshire. But of course there's also things like honours and peerages, you get the picture. So far from it being a top secret letter that nobody knew, only he possibly knew about, well that's really what's in the letter. And if you understand the official term of how monarchy works, well then it's quite simple. I like to share these things with you because while the mysteries go around the world and you think, oh, this is truly what goes on. And as I often say here on the show, it's all about what you need to do in this delicate publishing world to sell a book. As ever, happy to share. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.